If you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you need or want money to fund your deals, regardless of your credit, regardless of your income, regardless of your experience in real estate investing, don't go anywhere because I'm getting ready to plug you into the funding for your real estate deals. Well, hello, I'm Jay Connor, and this is my wife, Carol Joy. And we are here broadcasting live to you from uh, Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. We are broadcasting to you live, uh, Free Coaching Friday, for a year and three months now. On Friday afternoons at 3.30 Eastern Time, we broadcast to you live here on the Facebook live stream. And we talk about real estate investing, single family homes, commercial deals, etc. Okay, so I promised a moment ago that I was going to plug you into the money funding for your real estate deals, regardless of your income, your experience, or your credit score. This resource has got absolutely nothing to do with your credit, your income, or your real estate investing experience. So here it is. So Ken, I mean Kent, if you'll type it in, uh, I got a free online class, a free online class on demand waiting for you to go watch. And here's how you go to this class. Go to www.com jayconnor.com. We've been investing in single family houses. We're flippers. We've been uh, buying and selling houses here for 15 years in Eastern North Carolina. The strategies uh, and our techniques that we use work all over the nation. Uh, as I said, we started doing it 15 years ago and then approximately seven years ago, uh, we started teaching and training other real estate investors how to get the funding for their deals how to find deals, how to sell them quickly, and how to automate you know, your entire business. So we don't do a lot of transactions per year, per month. We do two to three per month. But the average profits now are $67,000 per deal, per deal. So those numbers, those numbers work. So let's go ahead, uh, Carol Joy, and jump in. We got some questions that have been submitted. And by the way, Free Coaching Friday typically only lasts about 20 minutes. So um, I've got six questions that have been submitted. What are you laughing at? You can't uh, leave. Are you not going to let me peek? No, you can't okay. peek. So anyway, if you can stick around, um, again, it's only going to be about 20 minutes, uh, and that's from the time we started. I'm going to do my best to get uh, all these questions answered. By the way, if you're watching the live stream right now or you're watching the replay, you can go ahead and submit your questions right now about real estate investing. Any, any question is good. So, uh, Kent, as you see any questions come in here on the live stream, uh, as you normally do, just, you know, wave at me and, and we'll stop and answer any questions that are coming in. Uh, yes? Steve wants to know how to get funding without ever asking for money. Okay, Steve. So, I know why you're asking that question. Just to make sure you heard the question, Steve wants to know how can you get funding for your deals without ever asking for money. Okay, Steve. So... I mentioned uh, last week on Free Coaching Friday that in the millions of dollars that we have attracted and raised in private money, I have never asked for money. But I didn't have the time to really explain what's going on with that. So right now, Carol Joy and I have got 47 private lenders from across the nation. They're not all here in North Carolina that um, loan us money to fund our deals. It's about between six and seven million dollars that we just churn from house to house to house to house. Uh, our exit strategy, we sell a lot of houses on a rent to own or lease purchase, require the people to get um, in the credit repair program so they can get ready for a mortgage and cash out. Now the way we do the business is when someone wants to own a home, we work with them even if they're not ready for a mortgage to let them go ahead and move into the home, enjoy it as their own, and we just haven't transferred the title or the deed when they move in. So we help them get ready for a mortgage. Typically it takes six to nine months to do the credit repair and get them ready for a mortgage to cash out. But anyway, back to Steve's question. I've never asked for money from the private lender. So how does that work? What's that look like? Well, on the online class that I just told you about, jconnorcom forward slash money webinar, there are five steps, five steps to getting the money from private lenders. And one of those steps involves, and you'll learn about what those five steps are on the online class, but what one of those steps involves is 
I have a 16 minute recorded audio. I have actually recorded that audio now over 1,000 times for our students. And this audio does not ask for money. This audio explains what private money is. I mean, private money, it's an individual just like me, just like you, that loans their investment capital or their retirement funds to us as real estate investors. In fact, I'd never heard of this strategy until nine years ago about people actually being able to use their retirement money to loan out to real estate investors and there's no limit as to the amount of money they can earn per year tax-free. This is the last vehicle I know that works like this, tax-free and penalty-free. And so back to not asking for money. I actually learned part of this strategy from Jack Canfield, who is a co-author of the Chicken Soup uh, of the Soul, or Chicken Soup for the Soul series that became really, really popular years ago. But he teaches this strategy called the Rule of Five. The Rule of Five. And what the Rule of Five says is that five days a week, uh, Monday through Friday, that you will do just five things to grow your business. In other words, working on your business instead of in your business. And so what I started doing years ago, and it works for me, or worked for me, works for my students, we take this audio called Stress-Free Investing, only 16 minutes long, and we convert it from the CD to an MP3 and also a, a put it to a YouTube link. And you just send that audio out to um, people in your warm market that you have some kind of contact with or some kind of relationship with, and you just let the audio do the work. So the audio gives an overview of what private lending is and how we work with private lenders. And then those that are interested, they just raise their hand, get back in touch with us, and then that leads to a one-on-one -on -one, uh, visit. And that's where we spill the beans and talk about, you know, how much interest we pay to our private lenders, how they're protected, uh, et cetera. So I don't ask for money. I just let our private lending program be known to individuals and then they decide if they're interested in learning more about it. So, good question, Steve. All right, Carol Joyce, so we got another question? All right, this is from Trish. How do I finance my first deal? Hey, Trish, if you're tuning in, so thanks for sending in the question. How do you finance your first deal? Well, as I just mentioned, you can use private money to fund your deal, but there's other ways to fund a deal. Um, there's, uh, you can wholesale. So what wholesaling means as a real estate investor is you can find a seller, all right, find a motivated seller, and you can put it under contract, all right. Now you can assign that contract or that option. You can get an option to purchase. The, the, the price is set. Now you can assign that contract to another real estate investor and get what's called an assignment fee, all right. So if I was wholesaling a deal, by the way, I've never wholesaled a deal because I like to keep all the profit pay the private lenders, stay in the deal. But if you don't have private money lined up, you get it under contract, you can then wholesale that contract to another real estate investor and get a $5,000 or $10,000 assignment fee. Now that other real estate investor will close on that deal. Um, you can buy houses. Another way to fund your deals is uh, what's called buying subject to the existing mortgage or the existing loan. I thought to myself nine years ago, <laughs> Who in the world is going to sell me a house, leave the mortgage in their name, and I actually take title to the house and agree to make their payments? I can tell you who. A motivated seller. That seller is looking for debt relief is what they're looking for. And so we bought many, many houses uh, subject to the existing name. Of course, another way to, to finance your first deal is you can talk to the seller about the seller selling you the house or the property with seller financing. They take back a note. A lot of cases you don't even have to pay a down payment and you can start making monthly payments and with no interest. All 100% of the monthly payment can go towards uh, the uh, principal amount uh, that you are buying. So anyway, right there you can wholesale, you can use subject to the existing note, you can use seller financing, and you can use private money, like of course uh, that I teach, on how to get lots of it very quickly. 
Okay, okay. So, we'll, so we'll do half. This is Todd asking, is it necessary to get a real estate license as an investor? Wow, Todd, I'm glad you asked because when we started 15 years ago, I wondered, do I really need a real estate, uh, like an agent license or a broker license to do this business? And the answer is no. Now you can, you can have a real estate uh, agent's license and do this business. So let's talk about uh, for a moment the pros and the cons of whether you really want to have a real estate agent's license doing the real estate investing business. I've chosen not to, okay? I've chosen not to have my license on purpose. Now I will say this, our relationships with our realtors are very, very, very important. Um, the realtors we do business with, I mean, when I've got a house that we're interested in investing in, our realtor pulls the comps for us, the sold comps, and puts together a complete CMA, a comparable market analysis, and then tells us by email what they believe this house will be worth after it's all fixed up and totally repaired and renovated. So I rely on my realtors a lot, even though we, we know this area, you know, like the back of our hand. I mean, there can be a sale down the street that's going to change the value of this house you're looking at. I mean, it, you know, it could have sold low, it could have sold high. So you want, you want to get a current CMA, my recommendation. But back to why I've chosen that would be a real estate agent. So any marketing that you do, looking for deals and finding deals, if you are a real estate agent, in most states you are required to disclose that you are a real estate uh, agent, okay, with a license. Um, I've chosen that, I, you know, I, I don't want someone to think that I am just using marketing and I'm trying to get a listing on their house, okay? I'm, I'm a straight real estate investor and, I, and, I'm not a, and I'm not an agent trying to list your house. So that's really the, the biggest advantage there is if I don't have a license, there's no license or agency to disclose. Um, that's a pro of not having the license, which I've chosen. The pro or the positive of having your license as a real estate investor is you don't have to rely on other realtors or agents to pull your comps for you or to find deals in the MLS. You've got access to that yourself. Uh, but I've chosen not to have a, the, uh, the license and in fact, you know, we have an entire system of has, how we work with our realtors to where it's a win-win-win. You know what I thought of? What did you think one of? One of our favorite gurus tells us all the time, <clears throat> and we try to apply it everywhere we can, do what you do best. And so you need to use your time and give yourself a raise and do other things. And we have a great, two great real estate agents that we use yes. to get all the information we need so you get to make decisions. And that's your goal is to just make decisions. I'm glad you brought that up, babe, and here's why. I mean, if I were to be doing a CMA and, and doing the analysis, I'd almost rather have a root canal than all that detail. I mean, you know, I'm not a detailed person. Tell Joy's a detailed person. I don't want to do a CMA. And you don't want to do a CMA either. But our realtor, Chris Latham, hey, Chris Latham, if you're out there, our realtor, he loves doing CMAs and analyzing appraisals and all that stuff that drives me crazy. But I got to have somebody smart like Chris that on knows, my team knows that knows how to do that, knows the market, knows how to do the CMA. So anyway, back to the question, do you need a real estate agent's license to do the business? The answer is no. However, the choice remains with you. All right, we're out of time, babe. So I'm going to let you wrap it up with uh, whatever farewell comments okay. here on this free coaching Friday. Well, we're just excited. We've had about six winners out here on the coast. So we're glad that we're finally having some sunny spring, summer kind of weather. So we plan to be outdoors some this weekend. We're planning on staying out here at the Dunes Club like the rest of this afternoon. All right, well, thank you for joining us here on Free Coaching Friday. I'm Jay Connor and my wife. Uh, have thanks a great for weekend. Have a great weekend or a great week if you're watching the replay. And we'll see you again.